The story has been told for thousands of years, but for the cast of Antigone, the last two felt the longest. Enter. So this is my first play at COC. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> it was a, definitely a little bit intimidating walking into a cast full of people that I had no clue who any of them were, but I swear within like a day or two we all just clicked and now we're like a little tiny family and it's just like, I don't know, it just feels so great to be back after the long time that it's been. After two years acting over Zoom, returning to in-person rehearsal has been a dramatic shift. Like zero human contact to, hey, let's go sit in a room with 15 strangers and feel the most intense of human emotions as as, as quickly as possible. Like, uh, let me feel the, the full breadth of human sorrow as I hold my son's corpse in my hands. Oh, <laughs> Hapless mother, hapless son! It's just a very strange experience, and I, I wouldn't change it for the world because it's been amazing. Equally amazing for director David Steers, who has watched the cast grow as an ensemble. In the last couple of rehearsals, there have been wonderful moments that uh, both the actor uh, and people watching are saying, ah, there it is, that's... That's the moment. Why all your speech this day is spent for her? For you! And me too! As an acting teacher, it's beautiful to watch artists grow into their art. If that growth was stunted performing online, the cast is making up for it heading into next week's opening night. There's nothing that compares to being in a live theater setting, whether it's performing or watching. You can see the same show a hundred times, and every every time the show's going to be different. Live theater is a, a forever changing experience. For this production, one change is adding an audience. Tickets are available through the theater department. I think it's going to be uh, something wonderful. For Canyons News, I'm Jeremy Thompson. Okay, go if you must. I still love you. Yeah. Okay. okay.